Welcome aboard Disney Cruise Line. This afternoon's mandatory emergency drill does not require you to wear your life jacket. However, your participation is very important, and we need your help and cooperation in watching this video to ensure that your voyage is as safe as possible. You'll find life jackets for each member of your party on the top shelf of your stateroom closet. The vests come in sizes for adults, children, and infants. If you find you're in need of a different size than what is provided, please see your stateroom host or hostess. The safety information placard posted on the back of your stateroom door will give you details about emergency procedures, including primary and secondary routes to your assembly station, information on how to follow low-level lighting during an emergency, and how to put on your life jackets. Please locate and try on the life jackets prior to the emergency drill and then restore back as you found them. Your stateroom host or hostess is available to assist any guests who need help in understanding the information. First, unbuckle and unroll the strap from around the jacket. Then, unfold the jacket and hold it in front of you and pull the opening for your head apart for easy access. Put your head through the opening, then pass the strap around your back and secure the belt clip into the buckle on the right side of the life jacket. Finally, pull the adjustment strap so that the life jacket fits snugly around you. Your stateroom host or hostess will review with you the location of the life jackets in your stateroom and answer any questions about donning your life jacket when you first meet. For those traveling with an infant, talk to your stateroom host or hostess about special instructions regarding the usage of infant life jackets. In accordance with international maritime law, we will be holding a brief but very important emergency drill for all guests and crew later today. Your participation in this drill is very important. All crew services will be suspended during that time and attendance for all guests is mandatory. During the emergency drill, crew members have other responsibilities, so check with your stateroom host or hostess ahead of time if you have any questions or will need assistance in participating. At the beginning of the drill, you will hear a general alarm signal. It consists of seven short blasts followed by one long blast of the ship's whistle and the alarms throughout the ship. <laughs> When you hear this signal, go immediately to your stateroom and gather your whole party together as a group before proceeding to your assigned station. Proper attire is required, including comfortable shoes. Be sure and have your Key to the World card, as this will be used to check your party in for the mandatory roll call. Please do not bring your life jacket to the drill. They are only to be used in the event of a real emergency. Every guest on board has been assigned to a specific meeting point called an assembly station. There are 20 assembly stations, all located on deck four. You'll find the exact location and directions to your assigned assembly station located on the safety placard on the back of your stateroom door. Please take the time during the drill to become familiar with the route to your assembly station. Your assembly station is also printed on the front of your Key to the World card. If you have critical medication, please take it with you in case of an emergency. Once outside your stateroom, signs displayed in the corridors and staircases will direct you to your assembly station. You'll also find crew members stationed along the way to assist you. During an actual emergency, the ship's elevators are not operational, so please remember to use the stairs during the drill. Specially trained crew members will assist guests who are not able to climb stairs. Once you reach your assembly station, you'll be met by crew members who will check your name off of the guest list and give you additional information and instructions. And remember, every guest on board is required by international maritime law to participate in the emergency drill. In the unlikely event of a real emergency, go immediately to your stateroom, put on your life jacket and warm clothing, and proceed to your assembly station. Remember to bring any critical medications with you. 
the mandatory emergency drill will take place later today when you hear the seven short blasts followed by one long blast of the ship's whistle and the alarms throughout the ship. Go immediately to your stateroom, gather your entire party together, make sure you have your key to the world card and any critical medication before leaving for your assigned assembly station. All of us on board Disney Cruise Line are dedicated to making your cruise a safe and enjoyable experience. If you still have any safety-related questions, your stateroom host or hostess will be happy to assist you. Welcome aboard and have a magical time. Welcome aboard the Disney Wonder. Oftentimes, guests have questions about the many services, locations, and activities available on board. For the next few minutes, we'll be reviewing general ship information and answering some of the most common guest questions. If you have a question and don't find the answer here, or if you're off to have fun elsewhere on the ship, you can find answers to many of your questions by checking your personal navigator, which is placed in your stateroom each day or by contacting Guest Services, which is located on Deck 3 Midship. What can I do at Guest Services? Guest Services is where you can exchange currency, get copies of your shipboard charges, pay gratuities for housekeepers and server team, check on ground transfers, get U.S. Customs and Border Protection information, offer feedback, and discuss any thoughts you might have about your stay with us. Are there charging limits on my Key to the World card? Yes. Guests who are paying cash or have a credit card on file may charge up to a predetermined amount on their shipboard account. After the shipboard account reaches this limit, the credit card on file will automatically be charged or you'll be asked to provide cash payment to bring the shipboard account under the limit and avoid any charging disruptions. Please see Guest Services on Deck 3 Midship for more details. Is there an ATM on board? There are no ATMs on board the ship. However, ATMs are located ashore at the ports we call on. But please be aware that some ATMs dispense foreign currency only. Guests can cash personal checks up to $100 per person at guest services once per cruise. Where can I get change? You can get change at guest services located on Deck 3 Midship. The rest of the ship is cashless. How do I operate my safe? Instructions are listed on the outside of your stateroom safe. You can also contact Guest Services if you have further questions or need assistance operating the safe. How do I check my email or surf the internet? An internet cafe is located in the Promenade Lounge and, for teens only, inside Vibe. If you have a wireless-ready laptop with you, wireless access is available at the Promenade Lounge, Lobby Atrium, Cove Cafe, and on decks 3, 4, 5, 9, and 10. All charges for internet usage will be applied to your onboard account. What are the portable phones in our stateroom for? Each stateroom provides portable wave phones for complimentary use while on board the ship as a convenient way to stay in touch with others in your party. Wave phones only work on board the ship. They will not work off the ship or at any other ports of call. Additional phones are available at the Guest Services Desk located on Deck 3 for an additional rental charge. Please note that there is a $250 charge per phone to your stateroom account for phones that are lost, damaged, or not returned to your stateroom prior to debarkation at the end of your cruise. How do I dial using the wave phone? To dial a wave phone from another wave phone, just dial the wave phone extension, which is the stateroom number plus the wave phone number. For example, to dial the second wave phone for stateroom 8030 from the first wave phone, dial 80302. To call the stateroom from any of its wave phones, dial 4, 1, and then the stateroom number. How do I dial using the stateroom phone? To dial room to room using your stateroom phone, dial 7, then the room number. To reach a number in the United States, dial 8, plus 1 and the area code plus the number you are calling. To place an international call, dial 8 plus 011 and the country code 
followed by the city code and then the number you are calling. Toll-free calls cannot be placed from on board the ship. Please be advised that international ship-to-shore rates apply on all calls. Can I use my cell phone or other wireless devices while at sea? Cell phone and wireless service is available in guest staterooms through most plans and can be costly. Pricing varies depending on your provider and usually includes international roaming rates. To avoid unwanted costs, we recommend turning off your cell phones and wireless devices. Can I get a wake-up call? Wake-up calls are an automated service that you access right from your stateroom phone. Just press the wake-up button on the telephone. You can also review the telephone instructions listed in the directory of services located in your stateroom. When is room service available? Is there a charge? What's on the menu? Room service is available 24 hours a day, except for the morning you debark off the ship. There is no additional charge for room service, but there will be a charge applied for any beverages, packaged snacks, wine, and beverage packages. Room service meals are included along with all other meals in the cruise package price. A room service menu is printed in the directory of services located in your stateroom. Where can I smoke? Smoking is not permitted in any interior spaces of the ship, including staterooms, corridors, restaurants, or theaters. However, guests may smoke on the veranda of their stateroom. Smoking is also permitted on the starboard side of Deck 4 between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., as well as the starboard side of Deck 9 near the Quiet Cove area and on the starboard side of Deck 10, excluding areas near Mickey's Splash Zone. Please be considerate of non-smokers around you at all times. Can I buy Cuban cigars? While you may purchase Cuban cigars at some of our ports of call, it is illegal to bring them back into the United States. What time do children's areas open? Refer to the personal navigator for the hours of availability for all children's areas. What is available for my child, who is under the age of three? Guests with children under the age of three can enjoy Flounders Reef Nursery as well as Oceaneer Club and Oceaneer Lab during special family time hours. For outdoor fun, head to Mickey's Splash Zone on Deck 10. Where can I do laundry? Is there dry cleaning on board? Laundry facilities are located on decks 2, 6, and 7. For dry cleaning services, please use the dry cleaning bag located in your stateroom or ask your stateroom host or hostess for assistance. What can I do at the Port Adventures Desk? The Port Adventures Desk, located on Deck 3 Midship, is where you can get details about available port adventures, booking port adventures, or just to gather more information about the ports of call during your voyage. Why are the ship's shops on board closed while in port? While we are in port, we are required by local authorities to close our shops. However, all shops aboard the ship are open during posted hours while the ship is at sea. Do I need to bring my passport with me when I debark in each port of call? Your key to the world card and a photo ID is required when debarking in all ports of call. Also, certain ports of call do require a passport. Please refer to the personal navigator for additional information. How much cash is needed in port? Is cash needed on port adventures? Guests should carry a nominal amount of cash in case they need to take a taxi, buy a souvenir, or purchase a meal. Traveler's checks and credit cards are much safer means of taking your purchasing power on shore. What is the legal drinking age on board and in our ports of call? On board the ship and on all Disney Cruise Line booked port adventures, the drinking age is 21. The legal drinking age may differ in certain ports of call. Please contact guest services if you need further information. Does Disney Cruise Line charge a corkage fee for wine that was not purchased on board? Yes, a corkage fee will be charged to your shipboard account for each bottle of wine or champagne brought into the dining room that was not purchased on board. What is the specialty dining charge for Palo? The specialty dining charge is a per-person service fee and is charged to your shipboard account. The fee for brunch or dinner is $20 and the fee for high tea is $10. Where is the medical center located on board? The medical center is located on deck one forward. Please check the personal navigator for hours. 
If during the course of your cruise you find yourself feeling ill, please notify or visit the medical center to get proper treatment. Can I leave towels and wet swimsuits on my veranda to dry? At Disney Cruise Line, we take safety and protection of our environment very seriously. As part of our commitment to safety, we ask that you remove any personal items from your veranda that present a fire hazard if left unattended or may be blown overboard. Swimsuits and towels may be hung to dry on the clothesline provided in your stateroom bathroom. At no time should anyone ever sit, climb, or lean on any of the ship's outdoor railings. Are there other rules I should be aware of regarding stateroom verandas or the ship's outdoor decks? Children should not be outside on verandas or the ship's decks unless accompanied by an adult. Please be especially careful when moving about on verandas or outdoor decks during rough seas. Since drafts are often created when sailing on the open sea, it's important that the veranda doors to your stateroom remain closed for both your comfort and for environmental reasons. Again, do not sit, climb, or lean on any railings while on board the ship. All of us at Disney Cruise Line are very concerned about preserving the natural environment around us, and we're depending on you to help us protect our beautiful oceans. Please do not throw cigarettes or items of any kind overboard. Can I light candles in my stateroom? For the safety of you and your fellow guests, the burning of candles in staterooms is strictly prohibited. What are the ship's cleaning and sanitation standards? Disney Cruise Line maintains strict cleaning and environmental standards, not only to keep all our ships and the surrounding environment clean, but also to assist in preventing the spread of certain illnesses. Our crew is constantly cleaning and sanitizing the ship, and we hope you'll do your part with frequent hand washing, especially prior to meals. What can I do to ensure my own hygiene safety while on board? Disney Cruise Line encourages both our guests and crew to take personal measures for their own well-being and the wellness of others by practicing frequent hand washing. You'll notice during your voyage that there are hand sanitizing stations located throughout the ship, including when you reboard the ship from our ports of call. While we encourage you to use these sanitizing stations, we hope you remember this is not a substitute for frequent hand washing. We hope we've been able to answer some of your questions. Please check your personal navigator for more information or contact guest services if you still have further questions. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of your Disney Cruise Line vacation.